come for having number two. I'm doing my exam right now, but I'm taking ten minutes or more to um do this video. Okay, so I wanted to do this video, but the stuff was deleted, and I didn't think that I would get any comments because the article was deleted. But the article is Love and Hip Hop's J dash B O O G apostrophe F's Babes, Baby's Mama or Baby's Mother. I don't like black people, and you can go find it. It's on her Instagram. Right, I have no who she is because, like I said, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. I can hear two shits about what they're doing. And, um, you know, I was on the fence on her video. You have to go watch her video to find out where it is because I'm pretty sure I, I won't be able to find it if I click on it. Okay, I could be wrong. Me and, Again, me and technology, we have not been friends. So we're going to show this video if it plays. If it plays. Come on, technology. I like the Mexicans and the whites. I don't really like the blacks. But I'm not racist because I'm all of them. I don't want no more kids. I got five. Why do I want to have more? I didn't even want to have the last one. It just happened. Because black people are ghetto. Sorry. Black people are ghetto, and I don't like ghetto. No, I'm serious. Like, when I, as, when I was growing up, and, like, even now, that's why I don't really have a big crew of friends. It's like, when I was growing up, like, all the black girls used to be hating on me. Like, they used to always try to talk mess and, like, just always, like, um, just, like, try to lie on me. And, like, I always had the flyest dudes or the popular dudes, if you want to say. And the girls used to be hating and, like, go tell and lie and make up stuff. And it always be those, those black ghetto-looking girls. And so, like, they would be the, the ones that's always hating on me. So now it's just like, when I was older, I don't really care too much for them. I mean, I don't, like, I like black guys, of course. But the girls, like, wait, I don't wait, really like black uh... girls. Because they ghetto. G -O -S -S I like the proper, the proper black people. O -S -S if, that, if that makes sense to y'all. T-H-E-C-I-T-Y dot com. Go to that. Well, Whatever that's only say. what I ran into. Gossip of the city. All my Mexican friends was cool. My white friends was cool. The Asian friends was cool. It was only them black girls. The ones that, that was ghetto. Okay. So... Most of them are, and all the ones that I came, came across are. All right, so I said I was against the fence because I kind of went through some similar stuff. You know, I wasn't really hating on this broad about that. But like I said, how she went about saying it is wherein lies the problem, you know. Because she could have she could have um, she could have worded that a lot better. You know, she could have worded that a lot better. Because now all... Um, Black people that are from the ghetto um, are ghetto looking because I don't even know what that means because I I grew up in the ghetto and um you know it's um it's kind of um a thing that mixed people go through when people who aren't mixed or directly mixed and don't know it um don't seem to know how to take what we say in that context but her her words were wrong when you play this back you'll understand minus the fact that this Facebook bubble that I'm gonna have to get rid of because for some reason now it pops open instead of just pops up and I don't like that shit because people be sending shit that they shouldn't be sending but they're in the group they're not sending it directly to me but um they're sending it to the chicks and stuff in the group and it's not appropriate stuff that needs to be popping up I don't mind if it pops up but they don't need to pop open now, I don't know what Facebook needs to do better than that and then the only thing that I will say against her that I have a problem with is her saying that she had five kids. You didn't want the fifth kid. Well, you should have stopped. You are in control of what goes in and out of your body. You know, that's my only flaw on her. You know, I didn't want five kids. Uh, that's on you because, you know, you, there's a thing called condoms. You know, and um, that's kind of a um, what's your jig, you know. So somebody sent me a... Um, a comment 
off of what I said, you know. So I'm going to read all the comments I said so, until I can find out the one of the person who sent me whatever. All right, so, um, S for D, and that's not the whole name. I don't reveal everybody's shit. Um, she's mixed, cool, then she hates one of her parents. And my comment to that was, I don't think it works that way. I'm mixed also, and I don't hate my parents. I hate racist people. However, the people like me who are mixed ethnic, ethnic mixed ethnicity don't really have a support group, which is why I made the other video about the five videos about Asian support group. Self hate is the biggest problem we are facing as Black people, so it's so easy for other races to come and divide us. And I wrote in that person's response, true, you know. Because there are times where I hate myself for um, having a little bit of black in me. But most of those times are when black people do something stupid and fuck it up for other black people. Alright? Um, a facts says, she's telling facts. Black people are the worst when it comes to sticking together as a race of people. In America, 100% when I step out of my apartment to take my kids to the bus, stop. It's no other race of people who's shooting dice, making drug sales, and urinating in my hallways, but people from my own race. And I respond to that person, sadly you're correct, I'm mixed with Cherokee, Indian, and black and white. So you know, I know, I've seen what this person's seen. Of course, their ghettos are probably a lot worse because in New York, your ghettos go straight up and everybody's in one apartment and our ghettos down here, you have your own apartment and you don't share a hallway with people. You share a front yard, but you don't share a hallway. Um, there are some people who are truly hating on her. This uh, guy, U585, says, wow, who is this dumb bitch? Don't like black people, but lay up with a black man and have his babies. Yeah, I didn't reply to that because shit happens, you know. Another one um, basically said the kind of the more logical thing, and it and I replied to that one with great point. But the, what she said was because um, her name is Kay and Asbury, and you got a damn Facebook bubble shit again. Wow, wonder did um. The J. Boog, whatever the hell his name is that I spelled earlier, has to say about this. I mean, raising his black kids and all. And I put down a good point, you know. And, you know, I, I try to reply with an honest reply, you know. Um, and AJ replied, and I didn't reply to this. I should have, but I didn't. I am truly floored by the ignorance of self-hate people have for themselves. Young lady, you are truly confused. You are making such a vile statement about your nationality. Truly sickens me. My heart aches for your children and your family, and you truly need to get an emotional and spiritual spirituality. I didn't reply to that because AJJ is correct to a certain degree. If you watch the video, you'll understand. I didn't get to push a like because it wouldn't respond. I am going to reply to that now. Everybody has replied amen. And I'm going to reply amen with a but. But as a mixed person, we have identity crisis issues. Ah, damn it. ID. And identified. Damn it. And no support group. In other words, some people can't handle being mixed. And that's really not an option that you have when you're born. You don't get that option. But if you don't get to talk to other mixed people, you won't um, be able to have the support you need. 
Um, another person, BH, said, damn bitch, white people don't, do not give a frack about you. And I had to defend some white people. So my reply was, damn, it depends on those white people. I have a few good white people, family and friends alike. But to each their own. No, because it's it's not true. There are some white people that actually do give a damn about people of color. You know, those are the guys that are your friends and your family that are trying to help you, even though they're not biologically kin to you. They're just as good as kin to you as your kin. And in some cases, better. You know, another one I don't know if I replied to. I'm probably going to reply to that. Um, forgive me for the foul language. This uh, user... Uh, 734 says bitch claiming to be mixed gets you no props and special treatment you will end up like Stacy Dash and Halle Berry used abused and washed up you won't make it far enough far that far though I well she's in a reality show so I, I got nothing I just no need for me to even reply to that the other um one I didn't reply to uh, VG who the hell made her queen it's not like she's a white woman I do believe they classify her race as being black herself really girl go sit on a toilet with all that bullshit stop trying to be something you are not white so how does it feel how does she feel about her kids and her insignificant and her excuse me her significant other she has four replies, and I'm a go ahead. That. Well, I can't give her a thumbs up, and I can't reply to that either. But my 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 take on that is one: when a woman calls another woman a bitch, I'm actually okay with that. I personally don't call women bitches. That's not a word I was raised on, and I wouldn't want nobody calling my mom or my sister or my future daughter if I have one a bitch. But um, you know, she makes a a, a very good point. You know, um, one, as I said, you know, I'm multicultural. I'm Cherokee, I'm black, and I'm white. I ain't never gonna be white. I'm black when it suits me until someone black does something to make me ashamed to be black. I'm Cherokee when it suits me until someone Cherokee does something or Native American in general does something to make me ashamed to be Native American. But in the end, I can't undo my genetic makeup. I am going to be all three regardless of how I feel. No, and I'll be first to tell you, I feel more Cherokee than black every damn day of the week. But, at the same time, you got to get a grip on who you are. No, I know I'm multicultural. I leave it at that. No, I don't, um, I don't deny it. Let's put it that way. I'm actually pretty proud to be mixed. And when people are like, are like when you're in these groups on Facebook, it's like, you're a black man. It's like, yes, but I'm also a Cherokee man as well. And I say, I'm not just black. I am more than that. And I don't deny my white side either. And I let everybody know, I'm Cherokee, I am black, and I am white. Am I always proud of those facts? Fuck no. I'm proud of them until someone from the three ethnicities that I named does something stupid. If a Cherokee fucks up today, I'm black today. If a black person fucks up tomorrow, I'm Cherokee tomorrow. If a Native American and a black man fuck up on the same day, even though I'm not going to be light enough to be white, I will be white that day. Well, you know, this is the day that I'm going to be white because a Cherokee man went downtown and went on the warpath. And a black man was right beside him with a rifle. Now here's where the problem lies in. What if all three of them fuck up on that day? I'm screwed. So I might as well take the good with the bad, you know. And that's the thing about being multicultural. You, We don't have a support group. You know, we really don't. From the cradle to the grave, we don't have a support group. We just have to adapt, adjust, and move on. Which clearly this young lady is having a problem of adapting and adjusting. Alright? So I'm going to read a couple of more of these damn things. And, um... See if I reply. And I'm trying to find a guy that, um... Says something to me. Hold on, let me, let me go back. Maybe I can find it then. Okay. I went back. Let's see. The guy that says something to me is... S for day. I'm not going to give his whole thing. Alright, so let me see. What the heck did he say? Alright, it says she's mixed cool. She hates one of her parents. And I 
read you guys my reply, but I'll read it again. It says, um, I don't think it works that way. I'm mixed also. I don't hate my parents. I hate racist people. However, the people like me who are mixed don't really have a support group. And his reply to me was, James, uh, my whole name, but she can't have, she can have a history. She can, um, have a bad history with blacks. I'm from New Orleans, home of the Creos, and they disowned the black race. Her father, if he was black, could be, could have been, could have been a deadbeat. Obviously, she's ashamed of her black side, but I feel where you're coming from. I'm going to thank him. All right, so, so far, I've wrote, um, thanks, because I've made two videos. I, I typed this as we speak on my YouTube channel, Comfort Habit number two. Feel free to check them out. Now I'm going to put um, the thing in. God damn it. Being mixed here was not easy. wasn't East. You mixed ethnicity people don't have a support group. And I D Identity crisis issues. So, therefore, we have that. Secondly, no, secondly, fitting in mixed is harder. Or boys and girls as everything is in life of course unless the girls awkward Or someone else starts rumors. I can't spell with shit. Feel free to check my video. And there's the kids that are not mine. Don't make me come out there. Okay. So, I'm going to make a second part to this video after I go and handle this business in the hallway. Thanks for watching.